CMS TV is off and running with another new show from Creation. Joshua Clifton from the band Raven Hill joins us. Red Letter Hymnal stops by to share some of their stories behind their music. And Minnesota band Author stops by with a hilarious fun fast facts segment and share what they've been up to. And the one and only Lincoln Brewster shares his performance of his song, I Am New. It's all up next as the stories and testimonies behind the songs start now on Christian Music Spotlight. Christian Music Spotlight, our entire season is here on location from the Benton County Fairgrounds for Creation Northwest 2015. We are pleased to welcome for the first time on our show, Raven Hill. How are you doing? I'm, it's great to be here. Uh, thanks for having us. Definitely. Us, when I say us, there's more than just me in this band, but... Now, yeah, I'm, not, I'm not. We might as well. We have, some empty, we, have, we have some empty chairs here. We might as well elaborate that for a minute. You are no. one of the members yeah, of Raven Josh, Hill. Josh, lead singer, guitar player of Raven Hill. So, yeah. How did you guys get started and become uh, the the band that most of us uh, know and love today? Um, I guess I guess uh, we got started because I got married, and quit music, and thought I'm just going to be a husband and a, a father and. But I'll always be making music, and I grew up listening to soul music, like Ray Charles and Johnny Cash, and, wow. and both those influenced me, Led Zeppelin, and, and those, I was like, I'm going to try to do that, you know, I'm going to, but I th also thought, like, why would anybody want to hear a white guy sing soul music? <laughs> so, so I started doing that for the fun of it, and thought, I'll just do it for myself, and, and then about a year and a half into the band, um, we get started ask, asked to open up for bigger artists, and uh, I was like, I guess I should get a full band, because before that, I always had friends fill in, or uh, we had two drummers, two bass players, like three guitarists, a piano player, and I'd be like, oh, we have a show in St. Louis tonight, who wants to play? And that would be my band for that night, you know, so. Um, but man, God started blessing it and uh, giving us kind of non-Christian and Christian success, and uh, as far as, I don't know what success is. I mean, but but as far as people wanted to hear it, so so we said, well, let's give them the best version of Raven Hill we can. So, yeah. and what's been your experience so far performing at festivals such as Creation here on the Fringe stage, afternoon, the blazing sunshine? What's what's your experience so far? Well, we've been lucky enough to play all all the Creation fests. We had to cancel for the one in Pennsylvania, unfortunately, because of van problems, but. Man, it's been such an amazing experience. You know, God's opened up a door for Raven Hill that has allowed us to play more like bars and breweries. And like even yeah. we played a biker rally uh, last week. And, and, and so when we come to festivals and, and the occasional church or youth group, I, I would say 90% of our shows are non-Christian shows. But if you've heard of our band, like our our music is very upfront about what we believe in, and we don't shy away from that at all in any situation we've been in. So God's just given us grace in those areas, I guess, to where uh, I remember before my father went to be with the Lord. Like I remember asking, I was like, should we be playing these bars or should we be playing these places? Because um, you know, I, I wanted I wanted to be holy. I wanted to be separated from things that would uh, of the world, and 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 he goes, well, why are you doing it? And I go, well, I I'm not gonna lie, I love I love playing music, you know, I love doing it, but I love connecting with people too. I love talking to people, whether that's about life or God or whatever. And he goes, well, if the world's asking for Jesus, give it to him. And so that that's kind of been our thing. It's like we've been able to play with some great bands, Christian and non-Christian, 
And for some reason, they all love it. And, and I know that's because of the grace of God and not because any, me or any of my imaginary friends here uh, have done. So, <laughs> I think it's great that you have that favor and that versatility to be able to do those sort of things. I think people sometimes forget that church isn't just about within these four walls. Right. It's about the world out there that needs it. And any place that those doors open where you can go and you can show and minister and show them that love firsthand is, is amazing. I'm glad you guys have that ability to be able to go into some of those places and be able to do just that. Yeah, it's crazy. Like, um, one of our most popular songs is a song called Blood on the Church Floor. And, and that song talks about, uh, and it was the first, first real song that I ever wrote for this band. And um, that song talks about a little boy and his mother going to a underground church, whether it's overseas or in our future or whatever, and not having the, the uh, I don't know, the, the comforts that we have to where they can just go and worship or congregate. And a militia or an army or some, someone coming in and putting a gun to her head and saying, denounce Christ or you're going to die. And she looks at her son and says, I love you. And says, no, Jesus is my savior. And she dies for that. And then the rest of the songs through the eyes of this little boy. The chorus of that's just hallelujah over and over. And it's funny whenever we're in a bar and, or a biker alley or whatever, and you have all these big dudes uh, just singing hallelujah with you. <laughs> and, like, and, and I'll be honest with you, like, after we get done playing, sometimes we get the most crude responses, like, Usually has obscen uh, have obscenities, but we're growing men. We're, we could handle it. Uh, the world needs Jesus because because honestly, it's not very pretty, <laughs> and and you have to deal. You got your hands dirty sometimes. But they'll come up and say some obscenity and go, "What was that?" You know, and I'm like, I, I don't know. I, I honestly don't know. I just uh, I, I just get to know them. And I'm glad you enjoyed it, and and you know. I just think it's so cool. I always think that like the Holy Spirit is our sixth member, and when we're playing, that is that X factor that that's that maybe separates us from uh, maybe maybe a non-Christian band that is probably better and musician-wise and musicianship and maybe even songwriting. But uh, people just want something authentic and want to be touched and want to be moved. And that was one of the first themes of this band is like we want to move you. So I guess, I mean, God's given us favor in that. And, I'm, uh, and some, sometimes we get flagged from churches that we only play. We don't only play bars. We love playing churches and festivals because it means we're, we can kind of breathe a little bit more and don't have to be on guard as much. But that being said, there's still ministry that needs to be happen, happening in festivals and stuff like that, too. So. Where, are you, where are you guys based out of? Uh, Nashville, Tennessee. Out of so, Nashville. Originally from Southern Illinois and then... Four or five years ago, we decided to move to Nashville. It seemed right. So, love it. We're here with Raven Hill. Joe Neal here with you for Christian Music Spotlight, our whole entire season here on location from Kennewick, Washington. Time for a little segment we like to call Fun Fast Facts, Rapid Fire Questions. Find out a little more about your favorite artists here. Uh, with a minute or so we've got left, if we were to peer into your iPod or CD player or however you listen to music, what would we find you listening to right now? Right now? Uh, on the way on the way here from Seattle to Kennewick, I listened to Ray Charles, and I listened to a band called uh, Band of Horses, and this is no co no coincidence, uh, or I, mean, I don't know, maybe it is, but and also a band called Band of Skulls. So I, apparently, I like bands that say Band, <laughs> band of Something. Of... Start a band and call it Band of Something. And I'll love it. I'll probably listen to it on my drive from Seattle to Kennewick. <laughs> Favorite television program? You have one. Uh, Lost. All time Lost. is Lost. Uh, I just got... Oh, Breaking Bad's up there, though, too. Yeah. But, um, yeah. Current? Do you want current, or you want... Is that a good enough yeah, answer? That's good enough. Okay, good. Favorite place you've toured so far? Do you have one? Or um, a couple of favorites, or... Well, in June, we did a kind of a coast-to-coast -coast thing, and I love the West Coast. I absolutely love the West Coast. This is my first time to Washington, and I think... My drive back to Seattle is going to be one of the most beautiful drives. Mm. And to me, that, that I love that. I love uh, just taking in God's creation. Um, I was saying that, like, on my drive here, that uh, even in the dark, the mountains look scary. And someone goes, well, I never heard them called scary. I was like, just an ocean is scary? That mountain's scary? Because I'm just so small compa in comparison. 
There's no reason for any for me to even be on a TV show. It's a glorious day we live in. Real quick, uh, website information. Yeah, RavenHillBand.com, Ravenhill Music, and all the social medias. And yeah, and also a little plug. I have a podcast. I interview bands and stuff like that called the Young yeah. Blood Podcast on iTunes. There you go. And uh, Christian non Christian bands. It's a lot of fun. So. Well, thanks for coming on our yeah, show. Thanks and for having me. Yeah, and much continued success uh, and with uh, whatever doors God's opening, yeah. whether it be secular, non-secular, it's just amazing to see you guys grow and continued success to you guys, both personally and professionally. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. Raven Hill joining us on Christian Music Spotlight. We'll return with more here from Creation after this. Stick around. To find more about Christian Music Spotlight online, like us on Facebook at Christian Music Spotlight or visit our video page at youtube.com slash Christ Music Spotlight, the online home for stories and testimonies behind the songs. Christian Music Spotlight. Christian Music Spotlight, we are here on location from Creation Northwest 2015, and there's so much to do, so much to see beyond the music and beyond the speaking. There's stuff to do for the kids, and uh, at the time we're over here, it's about 105 degrees. So what better than to jump on one of these inflatable things and go sliding on down and get wet. For a low day pass out here, you can go down these slides. They have four different inflatable slides that you can go down, and uh, it's one efficient way to beat the heat. Just take it from these people down over here. We got lots more coverage from Creation in just a few minutes. We're going to take a look inside the merch tents, and we're also going to talk to several vendors and get some feel for the acoustic stage as well. All that and more from Creation in just a minute. We'll be back with more concert footage when we come back to Christian Music Spotlight Creation 2015 after this. Find us on our flagship television home for Christian Music Spotlight, TCTV, Sunday nights at 8.30, Tuesday mornings at 8.30, and Thursday afternoons at 2.30, or find us all week long on youtube.com slash Christ Music Spotlight. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Christian Music Spotlight, the stories and testimonies behind the songs of your favorite artists in Christian music. We are here on site all season long at Creation 2015 here in Kennewick right now. I've got one of the guys from Red Letter Hymnal with us. How you doing? Yeah, doing well. Doing well. Tell us how Red Letter Hymnal got started and how long you guys have been performing music as a band. Yeah, we, um, we're actually we're an outgrowth of our worship band at church um, about four, actually five years ago. Um, our church started a new worship service, um, like a contemporary service, and uh, we started leading worship for that. And 
out of that, just playing together for about three years, we decided to make a band, start writing original songs. And, um, but we wanted to take in a little bit different direction than what we'd normally do on a Sunday morning. So we wanted it still to be worshipful, um, but we started putting a lot of like EDM and electronic elements to the band. And so uh, we, we wanted to do something a little bit different. And so now we're like, a, we're kind of a combination of what a worship band would do and a DJ would do. So it's like EDM meets worship, and um, so we're doing something different. Red Letter Hymnal with us here on Christian Music Spotlight. Are you finding you're reaching a whole different audience by kind of breaking down those barriers a little bit, by making it, uh, incorporating a little more of that EDM style into the worship? Is it attracting a whole whole different sector for you? Yeah, we... um, we kind of knew we were onto something with it. We posted a video on YouTube, um, and it, it kind of went viral. We have like half a million views on it, and it was like the first kind of like dubstep slash EDM Christian worship song. So we put a cover up of One Thing Remains, which uh, um, it got a lot of traction. And then we were like, you know what? We might be onto something with that. <laughs> um, so a lot of people um, were, you know, putting in the comments like we've never heard this before, you know, so it's... Um, there, there are a few other bands doing it now, um, but uh, two years ago, it was kind of, yeah, it, it's, it's still pretty fresh, still pretty new. Not a lot of bands doing EDM that are Christian. Um, and so we're, we're really excited about it, and it is reaching a different crowd. There's, it's definitely some people, there's a need for it in the Christian industry. They're like, you know, we haven't heard other Christian bands sound like this, and we really like electronic music. So, so yeah, it's been good. You're out here today at Creation. Uh, you guys doing some other different festivals this summer? And what's your experience with this whole thing been like? Yeah, we've um, we've done four um, Creation festivals. We did East, um, we did Ichthus Creation, we did Sunshine Fest Creation. Now we're at West Coast, and uh, it's been amazing. We met so many cool people, and uh, just got to interact with uh, a lot of awesome bands. A lot of the, the crew's been awesome. Everyone has been really friendly and you can just really sense the love of Christ and the community even though you've never met these people before it's like you know you're just you're one in Christ and it's really cool even when you just walk onto the the campgrounds you just kind of feel God's presence you know and and so I love that um, the shows have been going awesome great response from the crowds great crowds I mean they're jumping up and down in 100 degree weather and you know I mean it's they're just they're fantastic they're really going for it and uh, uh, we also played something called Awestruck Festival in Indiana this summer, and that was amazing, too. We opened for Sanctus Real, and uh, those guys are, are awesome. They're um, uh, great guys to play with, and so it's been a good summer for us. We've got Red Letter Hymnal with us here on Christian Music Spotlight. Beyond the music, what, and now being an offshoot from your worship uh, at your church, what are some of the main messages beyond the music that you and your band want to leave your fans and listeners and viewers with as they leave one of these shows today? Right. Yeah, we just want them to connect with God and experience them in a different way. I mean, God deserves to be praised with every style of music, whether it's heavy music or soft music or somewhere in between or electronic music. And, uh, so we just want to show them that, you know, God God can be just worshipped and you can have fun, you can jump around, you can dance. Because if God's made you free and he saved you from your sin, he saved you from hell and he's brought you in a relationship with him and you're headed towards heaven, like, we have joy to sing about. So we, we have a lot of our tunes are upbeat. A lot of them, you know, there's a lot of jumping around in that just freedom of God. So we just want people to feel God's freedom, God's grace. Um, grace is a big theme in our lyrics um, but also we want to challenge people to go outside the walls of a church or a festival and and bring God's um, goodness and love and justice to other people I mean we have a song about it's called silver and gold and it kind of highlights the um, two people's stories that are changing the world helping the poor and and really in the song it says that we need to take our worship take our love of Christ outside and, and help other people because that's what Christ has done for us we're all the poor we're all in need you know so um it's just a call to do that but yeah so there's some challenging lyrics um there's some just straight up praise lyrics and there's some just great messages about grace in our song for those who want to find out more about you and where to connect up with you and find out what you're doing next where they might where might they go um probably facebook.com slash red letter hymnal um we also have a website red letter hymnal.com and uh you know we're on instagram 
Twitter, all that stuff. So look us up, follow us. It's been a pleasure meeting you and having you here on the show for the first time and much continued success to you guys as you continue to uh, for, you know, break new ground in, in worship and different styles of worship. And thank you for everything you're doing and thanks for coming on the show. Great to meet you. We'll be back with more with more stories and testimonies behind the songs of your favorite artists here at Christian Music Spotlight. Hear from Creation after this. Stay with us. On the next Christian Music Spotlight, it's Redeem the Exile and This Vast Ocean, that and so much more on our next Christian Music Spotlight, the stories and testimonies behind the songs. Creation 2015, we're here from Kennewick, and we're here right now with the group author. Guys, how you doing? How's it going? Good. Good. Thanks for joining our show. Now, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, you guys are from Minnesota? Yeah. Correct. How did you guys get started as the band we know as author today? Well, I started the band as a solo project probably about five years ago, and um, my brother began to join the band and do all the drums, and then we searched for a band and Eric came along about three and a half years ago and we've just been jamming in the real world since then. I think it's rocking <laughs> in the free rockin world. For those who aren't familiar, what is the musical stylings of author? What can we kind of compare you guys to? Uh, we're like an indie rock band in the most vague way of saying that because there's a lot of different types of indie rock music but you know kind of experimental alternative music but a lot of vocal harmonies and and uh pretty sounding guitars i guess i don't know so indie rock rhythmic drum and bass rhythmic drum and bass so is this one of your so this is one of your first times out at creation so far and if so how's your experience fourth time that's a lot this year this year. <laughs> so our experience is really good. This is our first year, yeah. Fourth creation, though. So technically not a line. But it's been really fun. It's been really good. We've just been hanging out with a bunch of friends in the band and making people laugh and playing music for people. It's been really fun. Other than the obvious differences of, you know, weather, you know, rain versus heat or you know, different parts of the country. How's your experience with the uh, Creation Festival's been like, and what's your experience like so far performing in front of hundreds and thousands of folks uh, all these weekends? Can I grab it? Take it away. No, I, th I, I think it's been awesome. I've had an amazing time. I was just, we were just talking about this a little bit ago. Um, I really feel, like, comfortable here and at home. I feel like everyone's really happy, and when you smile at someone, they smile back at you which is something I feel like doesn't happen a lot in the music scene outside of yeah, you know, creation. So. Hmm. Once we get out of the busy summer touring festival season, what is down the road for you guys in the fall and winter? Up more touring, upcoming projects? It's always busy touring season for us. <laughs> we've, been actually, we've been actually touring since January this year, so cool. we've been out since then couple breaks but not really and then September we have a tour and October you're doing yeah. some other stuff in Nashville yeah, three weeks in October and then two and a half weeks in December now probably yep. two weeks so over the whole course of the year we'll do like over 130 shows about this wow. year and next year will be probably around the same maybe a little less maybe a little more depending on if we get on bigger tours or what because this year has been a lot of like they call it the grind tour, where you go and you play for anyone you can, you play anywhere you can, and so some places, some places were pretty well known, and some places were not, were still pretty new. So for us, this has been that year, and it's been really humbling seeing markets get bigger and crowds get bigger and friends um, tell friends, and it's been really encouraging. So, yeah. As you guys have grown and as you're performing in front of bigger and uh, arenas such as this. What lessons have you learned along the way as a band through these years of, of evolving? It's been uh, interesting, like, having, like, a really cool crew. Like, uh, if Sam ever watches this, he's the stage manager here. He's the Big greatest. Shout out to Sam. Shout out to Sam. We all love you. Love you, Sam. 
Sweet baby boy. But anyway, uh, it's been great because he's just super professional and the crew has been awesome. And uh, it's been, you know, there's a lot of times when, honestly, sometimes we play shows and we're the ones running the sound because no one else knows how to do it. So it's been cool not having any of that stress and, and seeing actual professionals work in that environment. And treating you professional too is really great. Yes, yeah, definitely. A lot of the time, um, like we consider ourselves professional, like this is what we do. But sometimes if people just think we're their friends or whatever, it'll be so different feeling. And it's like um, stuff like this is really encouraging and, and awesome to be in that environment. So. We're here with author here on Christian Music Spotlight. Time now for a recurring segment we like to call Fun Fast Facts, a time where you get a chance to find out a little bit more about your favorite artists. If we were to peer into your CD player or iPod, what would we find you listening to right now? Kesha. <laughs> <laughs> that's not true at all. It's just, that's not, that's just, that's oh, yeah. you, know, you know what yours is, Cameron. Uh, Kendrick Lamar. Yeah. Absolutely. Um... My old, I don't know how it, Bandit from Nashville. Oh, hashtag whatever. One of my favorite bands at the moment. <laughs> They're really good. They're our friends. They're our friends. Check them out. They're amazing. Now, I noticed the hat. Does this mean you are not a Minnesota Twins fan? Ooh. I am not a Twins fan. Uh-oh. Oh. I've, I've lived in Minnesota my whole life, but my, my dad grew up in Baltimore, so. Uh, yeah, he says that sometimes, though. My dad instead of our dad. <laughs> but anyway... <laughs> Our dad grew up in Baltimore, um, so I've always watched Baltimore sports. So I like the Orioles and the Ravens, nice Raven. and the Terrapins. Nice. Everything, everything, my band. He, he's going, going, he's going back, back to, to the question, question, by the way. Everything, everything. That is true. From the Fact track. <laughs> Fun fast facts, a chance we get to find out a little more about your favorite artists here on Christian Music Spotlight. <laughs> For those who want to find out more about you and check out more about your music, uh, what are some uh, contact information where we can um, find you? Weareauthor.com or at weareauthor. And you can find that on everything, hashtag slash weareauthor. Facebook, Instagram, the yeah. Tumblr, all that stuff. Hashtag slash. Yeah. yeah. Well, I'm hashtag or backslash. That's what I meant to say. We are. Final question in about 10 seconds here. Where did the name author come from? Is there a meaning behind that? Author came from mine and my father's mind. And um, to me, it means like author and creator, like uh, Jesus. So. Nice. Well, it's been fun, uh, of course, uh, seeing you guys this morning perform, and it's been fun uh, seeing you guys grow, both professionally and personally, and just seeing you perform in, in front of an amazing opportunity in front of just all four of these festivals, and continued success to you guys, and hopefully maybe see you back here next year and in years beyond, and you know, much love to you guys as you continue to tour this great nation with the love of Christ. Thank you, guys. Thank Thanks, you. man. Thank you. One love. One love. Christian Music Spotlight, find us online, youtube.com slash Christ Music Spotlight, where you find this and other episodes of our program, and find us on Facebook as well at Christian Music Spotlight. We return with more from Kennewick the entire season. We got a lot more where this came from after this. Time out. Don't go away. Peace, creation. That is author ending our show on a fun high note here on this Christian Music Spotlight. We've got even more from Creation. we got our very own Redeem the Exile and their tour mates from last summer, This Fast Ocean, will be joining us. Right now, they are going to be headliners for Creation 2016. We're going to leave you now with For King and Country. Here is concert footage. Fix my eyes. We'll see you back here next time on The Place for more stories and testimonies behind the songs. Christian Music Spotlight. I'm Joe Neal. God bless. See you again next time. Friendly